Tell me about the virus again. Then I'll go to bed. My girl, you're going very sticky thoughts about your hair. Please, just once. That's one of my, one of my favorite stories. Okay, snuggle down, my girl. Though I know you're no fool. The story starts before then. In a world I once would dwell. It was a world of waste and wonder, poverty and plenty. Back before we understood why hindsight's 2020. You see the people came up with companies to trade across all lands, but they swelled and got much bigger than we ever could have planned. We had always had our wants, but not it got some of quick. You could have anything you dreamed of in a day and for a day. We noticed families stop talking. That's not to say that they never spoke, but the meaning must have melted and the work-life balance broke. And the children's eyes go square on and every toddler had a phone. They filtered out the imperfections, but amidst the noise. They felt alone and every day the skies grew thicker. So he couldn't see the stars. So he flew in planes to find them. And down below, we filled our cars. We drive around all day in circles. We had forgotten how to run. We swept the grass with tarmac and shrunk the parks till there were no none. We filled the sea and plastic because our waste was never capped until each day when we went fishing. Pull them out of where they went. And while we drank and smoked and gambled, our leaders taught us why it's best to not upset the lots. More convenient to die. But then in 2020, a new virus came our way. The government reacted and told us all to hide away, while we all were hidden amidst the fear. And all the while, the people dusted off their instincts. They remembered not to smile. They started clapping to say thank you and calling out their moms. And while the car keys gathered dust, they would look forward to their runs. With the skies less full of voyagers, the earth began to bleed, and the beaches bore no wildlife that scudded off into distance. People started dancing. Some were singing, some were waking. We had grown so used to bad news, but some good news was in the making. And so, when we found a cure and were allowed to go outside, we all preferred the world we found the one we left behind. Old habits, instinct, and they made way for the new. And every simple act of kindness was now given its due. But why did it take a virus to bring back everyone together? Sometimes you have got to get sick before you start feeling better. Now lie down and dream of tomorrow and all the things that we can do. And who knows, if you dream hard enough, maybe some of them will come true. You now call it the great realization. And yes, since then, there have been many. But that's the story of how it started and why Einstein's 2008.